angels so angels I hope you guys are having a wonderful fun and blessed day so today we're gonna discuss the time when I jumped out of a car okay I told you guys I had a crazy life and a lot of crazy stories well yeah this is one of them what happened was um I was in the car with this guy that I was dating at the time blah 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 and he was taking me upon my request what I mean about that is this particular day I broke up with this guy okay I said Saranata, I don't want to see you anymore. This is not working. It's over. I can't do it anymore. So, that's what I was doing, you know, and I made my mind up and that's what I did. The situation was not working for me, okay? So, when a situation is not working for you, what do you do you don't sit there and lead somebody on because that's not what I do so I did what I was supposed to do and what was in my heart and I broke up with him okay well obviously somebody wasn't understanding what was going on yeah I know it was a hard thing I know it was hard to hear but I just had to do it because you're not getting yourself together so I can't be in this relationship any longer okay so I did what was best for me and after being together for a long time yeah it was hard for this person to take this so how did they deal with it they paid me no amount no attention <laughs> I said no mind they paid me no attention, no mind whatsoever when I told them I was breaking up with them. They kept going. They was driving around like they didn't hear what I just said. They was continued doing what they wanted to do. I was on the passenger side of the car. And I just wasn't taking that well, okay? As I told you guys before... Okay, I suffer with mental illnesses. I've spoken about my anxiety here on my channel before. I haven't got into, you know, anything further with my other mental illness, but that is for another time. But when you suffer from mental illnesses and your mind is not in the right place at the time and you're going through a lot of stuff and you're not in a healthy state sometimes you do not think straight you do not think straight that's why you need help at that time but at that time at that particular time I wasn't thinking straight at all okay I'm not even gonna lie I was not thinking straight so all I was thinking about is I wanna get out this damn car okay because I just told you it's over we're done with I just told you that but you're not getting it for some reason and when I'm done telling you that I just wanna go I do not wanna still sit here riding around in this car with you and you know just acting like I, I just didn't say anything or acting like nothing just happened it's time for me to leave and you're taking me against my will so at the time like I said he just kept driving whatever he wanted to do that's what he was doing and I'm sitting here on the passenger side and all I'm thinking is I just want to get away so I wasn't thinking oh if I jump out this car I'm gonna hurt myself I wasn't thinking if I jump out this car, I could kill myself. That did not cross my mind that day. Because my mental 
state wasn't at its best. Okay, so I wasn't even thinking about what could happen at this time to me. So the only thing, the only thing I was thinking about is I just wanted to get away. So with that being said, I was being held capture. I was being held hostage. That's how I felt, you know. So next thing I know, I jumped out the car. While he was driving, I jumped out the car on the road. Okay, so many things could have happened to me that day. I could have killed myself from jumping out of that car. Another car could have been behind us and just ran me over. I could have hurt myself so badly. Like, it's so many things that could have happened from this situation. So, I would tell you guys, never jump out of a car. And I know that's just something that I'm telling you. And if you were in the same mental state as me that day, maybe I couldn't help you with that. Or just by me telling you that would not help you. Because seriously, I don't know if I had somebody to tell me that that day. Don't jump out the car. I don't know how I would have still reacted because of the mental state I was in. And the only thing I was thinking at the time was I want to get away from this person. So... I don't know if that would have changed it or what. But yeah, I did. I jumped out the car. And luckily, uh, no cars was behind us. And, you know, I do still have a scar today on my knee from jumping out the car. This person stopped the car, put me back in the car, and ended up taking me to the hospital. Okay. So thank God, like I said, I just thank God that that day I didn't kill myself. And I thank God there wasn't another car back there to do any more damage to me. The only thing I did was I kind of um, hurt my knee. I didn't even need um, any stitches, but it was bleeding pretty bad. And, you know, I just had to go to the hospital and get it treated. But I look back on that because every time I look at my knee, I have a scar on my knee that reminds me of the time when I made that bad decision. Okay? The time when I made that fast and bad decision when my mind was just in a bad place and my mental health wasn't in the right place. And, I, you know, from that incident, I said to myself, I will never ever do this again well i would try to never do anything like that again because to be honest i do struggle with mental illnesses and sometimes when it's at its worst it's hard for you to think okay it is really hard for you to think when it's at its worst but i still say to myself when i look at my scar on my knee this is a reminder the next time you're not in your um, best mindset and you're mad and you are you just want to get away from whatever's going on or if something's not, you know, right for you or whatever, don't make a fast, dramatic, bad decision and just do something like this again. Never again, okay? So... Good thing I do have that scar because when I look at that scar, it takes me back to that time. And it reminds me that I will never do anything like this again. And I just got to make sure I always think straight. Even when my mind is not doing well, even when my mental health is not doing well, I got to try to get help and I got to try to stop and take a moment and take a time you know, take some time to think. Think before I react, okay? That's what you have to do. When you have mental illnesses and you're just going through at the time, the main thing you have to remember is think before react. Because that's what, you know, mental Mental patients, that's what they do, you know, sometimes when their mental health is not at its best. They react before they think. 
And if you can just remember, if you're dealing with mental illnesses, just remember this phrase. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say that because I thought about that when I said stop. But seriously, <laughs> if you're dealing with mental, um, mental illnesses, just think of this phrase. Stop. Now I forgot what I really wanted to say. Stop, think, and react. Then react, okay? Do not react, then think. You want to stop for a moment, think, get yourself together, and try to think straight. And react after that. Because if you give your yourself some time that you need to think you're gonna calm yourself down and you'll be able able to think more straight you know so never react and then think just stop think until you can think straight and then you want to react after that so thank you so much for listening to the time when I jumped out of a car and how um, I regret doing that and my mental health wasn't in its best state at the time. So if you learned anything from this, just know and learn that if you're dealing with mental illnesses, um, when you're not going through a good time and your mind is not at its best state, make sure you try to get some help. And if at the time, if something happens quickly that you can't get help for, just try to remember to stop yourself and give yourself some time to think so you can think straight before you act, react to your situation. Thank you so much, angels. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys later in my next video. Bye.